Welcome to the Snack Attack. I'm Chef Deshay. Today we are going to be making bacon artichoke bites. Who doesn't love bacon? So let's get cooking. All you need is authentic style tortilla chips, some cheese, four strips of bacon, tomatoes, cilantro, four ounces of mayonnaise, garlic rub, and artichokes. So let's make some magic. First, you're going to need to preheat your oven to 425 just to get it hot. And I'm gonna grab just any cookie sheet and put your tortilla chips on it. So the form chip. and set those off to the side. And you're gonna grab a bowl, it's pretty big, and start adding your ingredients. Add your artichoke, some cheese, not all of the cheese because you're going to sprinkle it on top. Your bacon. Smells good. Your tomatoes. Cilantro. Four ounces of mayonnaise. And your garlic. Now we're going to start mixing our artichoke mixture. It's a huge bowl. You can really smell the uh, cilantro. So good. Once you're all done mixing, you're gonna put your bowl aside and grab a spoon and your chips. You can add more chips if you want. This is just a quick snack or an appetizer. And you're gonna, with your spoon, you're gonna evenly divide your artichoke mixture into your chips. Can't wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gonna grab a new chip. Yeah, that's better. Fun but messy. The cheese, you're just going to take some and sprinkle it on there. You can add a lot or as much as you like. Once you get all of your chips assembled, you're going to put them in the oven for 9 to 11 minutes or until the cheese is golden brown. You want to set your timer to 
about 10 minutes, so it's in between. Now that that is baking, we have some leftover artichoke bacon. So just grab a small bowl and you can use it as dip. Baking it just gives the chips that extra kick. So scoop it into a small bowl. Doesn't matter if it's messy, it's still gonna be delicious anyway. Now that the, you have this in a bowl, just take your chip, grab a small. Mmm, so delicious. I can't wait till it's done in the oven. So good, do you want some? Oh, it's ready. Now, when you pull this out of the oven, you want to be very careful because it is really hot. And don't set it on anything that can melt. Put it on something that is heat resistant. Because this is so hot, we're gonna let it cool. As that is cooling, I wanna thank you for joining me today on the Snack Attack. I'm Chef Deshay, and until our next recipe, keep snacking.